around, makakasama naman po natin ang ating resident chiropractor na si Dr. Rob Walter. Good morning! Good morning. Hi, Hi Dr. Welcome back! Nice to see you again. Yes. Interesting topic yes. today. Oh, oh, we are going to talk about sciatica. Yes, sciatica. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, what is, what is sciatica? What is sciatica? Right? Well, sciatica, first your sciatic nerve is your largest nerve in your body. Mm -hmm. And it originates right down here, right in the middle of the, the glute maximus, mm -hmm. right in the middle of your butt muscle. It's the largest nerve and it goes all the way down the leg. Mm -hmm. So, oftentimes, you know, People will think they have sciatic if they have some type of a numbness or a mm. sharp pain in their leg. Or burning sensation yeah, also. Right. Yeah. Um, but true sciatic is when you have an electric feeling down your leg, like a current that goes all the way down the back of your leg to your heel. Oh. So it's very misdiagnosed mm -hmm. because people oftentimes try to diagnose themselves and they just feel if they have that shooting pain at sciatica. Yeah. But it could be another nerve. We have many nerves that exit here, the lumbar, the sacral plexus. So, you know, the L3 nerve goes to the quadriceps, you know, L4, L5, mm -hmm. they go to different areas. That's why it's so important to get properly diagnosed. Okay. Sir, uh, Doc, most of the people, or some people would say uh, they develop sciatica because of uh, putting wallets on their, yes, uh, in, in their is, pockets. Is that true? That is a very common cause. Mm -hmm. So. So sciatica is oftentimes caused by something called piriformis syndrome. Yeah, that's sure right, that's that, right. right? Yeah, I'm doing therapy for that. So, so piriformis muscle runs obliquely across your glutes. It's a muscle. And so why does that muscle become inflamed? Because of repetitive use, because of some type of stress. Mm -hmm. So oftentimes your pelvic bone is out of alignment. Oh, this is the case with most of us. We have true. these pelvic misalignments. The ilium bone rotates back and it becomes not pantai. Okay. So it's out of alignment. So that creates abnormal stress to the piriformis muscle, creating inflammation, affecting that sciatic nerve, causing electricity. So yes, going back to your question, yes, wearing a wallet in your back pocket is a huge cause of pelvic misalignment. Mm -hmm. So that, that wallet that you sit on every day hits this bone yeah. and it causes yeah. the pelvis to rotate back. Now oh, the, the other the other one that's just as common is that crossing <gasps> of the leg. Crossing oh yeah, that's yes. right. That's right. <laughs> Females that excessive crossing of the leg. Of course, the pelvic bone over the years is going to adapt to that. But position. it feels comfortable. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Can you also develop yeah. sciatica if you're carrying your baby? Because that's what they said on me. Uh, maybe I'm too, uh, carrying my baby too much, and then also uh, driving for a long time. Yeah, of course, of course. Any of Anything those that things. Would put mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. But the thing that's I really right. want to stress today is I had a diagnosis is very misdiagnosed. Oh. Just like when you have numbness in your hands, most yeah, people think that's, that's right. carpal tunnel. But it's usually not. It's something stemming from the cervical spine. So there, again, there's many nerves here. So you can develop misalignments in your lumbar spine. You can develop bulging discs that hit other nerves that are actually causing the numbness or the sharp pain. So it's not always sciatica. Mm. Okay, I just want to go back, no, yeah, Tito Diego. Uh, you mentioned cross legs. How about this kind of form? What we call the, the quattro. quattro. Does it the also stretch? enable you to have uh, sciatica? No, so that position. Yeah. That, yeah. Position, the male the that position. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, anything and you do, stress on your anything you do repetitively, especially on one side more than the other, is going to create imbalances. How can you distinguish sciatica from radiculopathy? Because it's well, almost the same, right? So yeah, radiculopathy. yeah, yeah. Radiculopathy so just means a shooting pain down an extremity. Mm -hmm. It's not really that specific. It's okay. just a general diagnosis. So it can be on both legs, not just right. one leg. You, you can have definitely radiculopathy down both legs. Mm -hmm. So if you're having shooting pain or numbness down both legs, you, you, there's a chance you could have a disc injury. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. might not be sciatica. Mm -hmm. It might be a disc is bulging into the spinal cord, causing the numbness. And so to really clarify or confirm if you have a disc injury, you need MRI. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about for lack of vitamin B? Can you also uh, can you also have sciatica because of that lack of vitamin B? Because it's no. also for the nerves, right? No. Anything no, that puts no. stress in that Yeah, it's not really from lack of vitamin B that's going to cause sciatica. Okay. No, it's more of a, a physical stress, a repetitive stress okay. causing inflammation to the mm -hmm. piriformis muscle. But for sciatica to be able to diagnose it, you have to undergo an e EMG test, right? Mm -hmm. Electromyography. That's a way, yes, yeah, you yeah. can do that, a nerve conduction test. It's going to measure the latency, the, the mm. nerve conduction down the leg. So that is one way to confirm it. 
Yeah, but if you have electricity going down the back of your leg to your heel, yeah, there's, there's, that's a good and, chance. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I like right. you were saying, because, uh, you know, you're, you're right. Uh, somebody has pain in their wrist, their arms. Oh, I, I have carpal or tunnel. Yeah. Or I have pain here. I have uh, sciatica. sciatica. Just call yeah. it that, yeah. But you were mentioning that there are other uh, nerves in yes. the spinal area that yes. cause almost the same pain. Yeah. And does it also affect the same area? And are there instances where in sciatica and that other nerve you're talking about, could uh, both be affected at the same time. Yeah, yeah, they could both be affected, but it's so important to get proper diagnosis. That way you're working on the right area. Yes, that's true. Mm. Makes if, sense. if you don't get checked up, what are the repercussions for, long, for the long term? Well, I mean, of course, you continue to have pain in your leg, and that's true. no fun. True, true. Especially when you're driving, it's you're put accelerating, that, that type of, or it's if you really have a, a, a manual, oftentimes the clutch, that can cause those types of issues. So, of course, it's very painful. Yeah, it's true. So you don't want to live like that. But, um, of course, anytime you have stress on a nerve, it's not healthy to other organs in your body. Mm. It's very important to get get the right um, treatment, get the, the area. You emphasize the right uh, treatment yeah, and diagnosis right all the time. Yeah.